Right? Okay. That was good, buddy. That was good. 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 you was good. That 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 Gosh, who knows? I know, I'm about to know. Uh, it's going to be, uh, oh, let's say, Brendan Healy. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. And then after Brendan, um, how's about, oh, come on, fat fingers. Do you know? <laughs> Daniel Rigore. All right, we're going to for a very funny person, Ashley Gavin. Yeah! Thank you, thank you for the gender neutral introduction. Yeah. I am a funny person. It's 2015. Yeah. <laughs> who knows what I am? Who be it? This Argyle men's sweater and these women's jeans. Who knows? Baggy <laughs> <laughs> women's jeans, men's shoes, women's sock. It's just confusion. Long hair. Need a haircut. Okay. My favorite part of Mike Silver, was that his name? Yeah. Yep. His set is he smelled like a solid minute looking for a volunteer and then had no interaction with him whatsoever. <laughs> and who did anyone else know he said? I was like, when, when he was writing the joke, was he was just going to add a layer of complexity to this impression <laughs> that I think it's currently missing. Um, okay, I'll say a funny thing first and then I'll say some maybe funny things. Um, I am a lesbian. A lot of people, I used to think that I had pretty good gaydar. Like, I thought Taylor Swift was gay for a while. Right, a lot of people are like, why do you think that? What little blip is going off on your gaydar? And then I realized, I don't have gaydar. Just have women I want to bang? <laughs> Every woman I want to bang, she's got to be gay, she's gay! <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell is not gay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the maybe funny stuff. Uh, I, uh, I'm obviously lesbian, I'm a feminist, and so that means a lot of people think that I have problems with men. I don't have problems with men. I don't fuck men. <laughs> we have no problems. <laughs> oh, like, there's, there's no ground, thank you. I'm gonna, really, like, for the rest of this set, it's the you three. But, like, this is totally, I wish... Anyway, but uh, but I do have one thing. My thing is that I hate when guys call girls crazy because I think a lot of guys do. Is, oh, she's crazy. She's emotional. Guys are crazy too. We're just talking about two different kinds of crazy, right? Like I like to call women low stakes crazy and men high stakes crazy. Because like when a woman goes crazy, she over decorates her boyfriend's apartment for the fall season. Like that's. That's a, that's, she's crazy. Like, there's like a pumpkin theme. Like, that's a, what is a, what is a sweater weather Yankee candle? Like, we don't know <laughs> what that is. But when a guy goes crazy, he shoots up a sorority for not having a girlfriend. <laughs> you understand? That's, that's, the, that's the key difference. Like, women are crazy every day a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if you had this growing up, but when I was growing up, my mom would just yell in the kitchen for no clear, like I would hear just, damn it, damn it, shit, damn it. And I'd like run to the kitchen. I'd be like, mom, what's wrong? I bought the wrong kind of milk again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was dead, you know what I mean? With all like glass shatter and <laughs> That never happens to a man, because a man, he doesn't go crazy over milk. He doesn't go crazy over these things. Instead, he just lets that sit for years, and then he turns 50, and one day the car won't start, and he's just like, Goddamn Muslims! <laughs> <laughs> That's man crazy. A lot of men, or not a lot of men, I've heard some men say that women and children first is sexist, like against men. Have you ever heard that argument before? Really? It's not sexist. It's women and children first in an emergency because the men are busy creating the emergency. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. That's why, that's why that is. <laughs> like, take some responsibility, damn it. <laughs> Do you think when the Titanic was sailing, like a woman reported the iceberg? Oh, that's so killed of the ladies my day. Was <laughs> murdered. I just love to think that a woman went into the captain's thing was like, oh my god, I'm so I'm so sorry to interrupt. Um, but I'm I'm pretty and I know you know way more about this than me, but I am I'm like pretty sure there's like a really big a, a pretty big ice cube like over there. <laughs> it's like bang, bang, bang. <laughs> oh my god, it's going well, 
see what this could be. I'll end with this. Uh, oh god, I'm really sorry that I'm trashing men so much in this set right now. I, I, this is like the first material I've done like this. But um, I was being an at the ladies mic. I hear a lot about women not having orgasms during sex, which was a thought that had never occurred to me, like ever. I never thought that if a lesbian couple, if someone in that couple didn't come, like that's domestic abuse. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like her friends would all get together, she'd be crying, be what is it about Emily? Is it about him? she'd just be sobbing? Did she touch you? No! <laughs> all right, thanks guys. Sorry. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a really tough room and I brought it up. So I'm really proud of myself. Means the material is really good and that I'm getting somewhere with it. Um, if you're watching for the first time, my name is Ashley Gavin. I am a uh, nationally tour touring college comedian. Um, and I had my TV debut a couple of weeks or a couple months ago. Time flies on Gotham Comedy Live. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I took a day off yesterday. Sorry, Cali Pop. So now I take questions and comments from you guys. And what you're watching is all new jokes. Yeah, I think you're right, GX to NY. I think you're right. Um, this is an open mic, so I feel a little less formal. I would never do that at a show. But that is my insecurity talking, for sure. Absolutely. Hello, California. And Ang Angel Mustang. I wish that were your real name. I wish your name was like Angel Mustang Gorovitz. <laughs> I prefer the previous impressions that you have done for the Titanic girl. I have to go back and watch the other tape. Um, I'm not sure what impressions I did last time. Oh, thank you for the hearts, everyone. I really appreciate ah, 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 eating the hearts. I know, I'm a fucking weirdo. Daughter of a hippie and a mechanic angel Mustang. That's really funny. That's really funny. Are you a comic? Disgustipated? Angel Mustang Gorovitz is my favorite person. <laughs> I love it was Angel Mustang is like the first name and the middle name is something like Angel Mustang Chloe Gorovitz. <laughs> oh, I had fun. That was a really fun mic. And guys, it started so sad. It was so, so sad in there. So I think the room finally woke up. And I was lucky because the guy before me, um, uh, was funny too, and he brought the room up. I am, I am at Laughing Buddha. Uh, Laughing Buddha, uh, not to like do a plug for them, they haven't paid me for this, but it's by far my favorite open mic. And a lot of the other open mics I do um, are in basements, and I don't get reception. So Laughing Buddha's a, I do do it a lot, and b, the other pl couple places that I like to do it, they don't have reception in the basement, which makes it really hard for Periscope. And I'm, I'm having so much fun on Periscope that I just try to do as many of these as possible. Um, yeah. I like Laughing Buddha because you can almost... Basement sounds dangerous. Yes! Basement's filled with men. Oh my god, you gotta... Where are you from that you've never seen a comedy show? You gotta fix that. Comedy is so much fun. I don't even care if you come and see me. You just should go see someone. Are you, are you from the New York area? I've lived, oh, if you're in New York, you got to go down to the cellar. Just take a night and go down to the comedy cellar, get some tickets online. That's the comedy cellar you should go. Um, why are Northerners so aggressive and rude and Southerners seem laid back? Is that a joke premise or are you actually asking me? The cellar, yeah. Comedy cellar. Hi, Jeremy. Guys, two other comics are in the room right now, at least Jeremy Hammond and Ian Hunt. You can check them out in the list of people that are, uh, they, they're very funny and you should follow them. Um, they, they also periscope. They're, they're super, super, super talented uh, comedians. Um, yeah. Ian Hunt. Did I not say it? Ian Hunt. <laughs> it's Jeremy Hammond and Jeremy Hammond. This is David Spade, all broadcasts. How I wish that were true. Is that properly spelled? Is Spade spelled with an I? I don't know. Uh... The room actually tonight, I thought it was going to be really tough, but it was really good. So that was a relief. Um, yeah, any other comments or questions? 
Let's call a spade a spade. So just another thing, I am going to be taking a few days off uh, for Christmas because I am I am a naked David Spade and I'm listening to What in the Butt by Sam. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this guy. Some of the things that I see on this periscope are indescribable. But as long as Angel Mustang Gorovitz, thank you, I like the goddamn Muslims too. It worked really well. I was like trying to come up with a whole thing to make that longer, but actually just saying goddamn Muslims is really funny. If anyone is listening to this and didn't see the set, I don't hate Muslims. It is an impression of a man hating a Muslim. Um, uh, awkward. Uh, Alright, cool. So I think um, if you guys enjoyed this, you're watching new material. Um, so please follow me and you can watch this material get better and better and better. Um, the, if you want to see polished material, uh, things that are done, things that have been on TV, things that I do on my tour, you can go to my bio on here and go to my YouTube channel or my uh, website. And on my website, you can sign up to get emails from me once a month about, uh, uh, about when I'm doing shows and stuff like that. Yeah, I prefer not to partake in any Islamophobia on Periscope. Uh, in general, but certainly not on Periscope. Ooh, this is just, I'm killing it right now. Really good stuff. Uh, all right, if there are no more questions, I'm going to head out. Thank you. Thank you so much for the hearts. You guys, I have 499 followers. Someone please follow me so I can get to my 500th uh, follower. Oh, um, yeah, of course I get nervous going up. Not so much about being in front of people anymore, but more about, like, the desire to do well. Because I, I put, you know, every comedian puts so much effort into their jokes, and you want them to be funny. You want to think that the thing that you just wrote will make it bring you closer to being a successful comic, and a lot of times it's not. So, you know, you just get really nervous. Any jokes about dating a guy whose toenails look like sun chips? You know, I don't have a lot of material about dating men at all, actually. The lols, I think, is having an aneurysm. He sounds like he's having a breakdown, like the one I described in my joke. Like, one day he just woke up and now he's just, the Bitcoin is the future of currency! Um, yeah. Uh, you guys are nice. This is a nice group of people. A lot of times I'll come in here and people will tell me that, make fun of the way I look, or tell me that I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> oh, thank you, Angel Mustang Gorovitz. Angel Mustang Chloe Gorovitz. What happened to the tea sweetener joke? That's a good question. I sort of put that one away because... It's in a pile right now of other jokes that are like 80% done, but not perfect, that I put away for later to work on when I became a better comedian. And I'm actually planning on bringing them back out in the spring to work on them again. I'm a funny piece of shit. That's the nicest thing anyone said. All right, now I'm located in New York City, so all this stuff is in New York City. Um, all right, guys, my battery is slowly dying, so I really do... Uh, need to get going, but thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the questions. Once again, you can follow me on here to check out as I work on these new jokes. You can check out my bio for my YouTube channel, which has complete funny polished stuff, or my website to sign up for my mailing list and get free tickets to on my tour dates. All right, bye guys. Thank you again.